Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. But what a little too far back. If you're new to the channel or if you're not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total wash out. I kind of also wanted to do a Bochinche chat this week just because of all the drama that's been happening with like Jaclyn Hill and like Thomas Halbert and blah blah blah. So uh, I'm gonna try and avoid you know drama topics like I said I would. If anything like kind of crazy comes up I'll try to find time maybe next week to do a live stream. I'm gonna try a different day too because I tend to do live streams on Fridays and Sundays so maybe I'll try a different like weeknight and see how that works. Uh, also I am wearing my Spooky Glow merch from Smoky Glow because she actually just got engaged to her boyfriend so congrats. I saw it on like Instagram or Twitter. It's adorable. I know they were on like a, a European vacation or something which is adorable so they just got engaged. Congrats to Hannah a hundred percent just like so excited <laughs> before we jump into the new releases let's do some updates first first of all I am wearing a green lipstick we're working on my upcoming best and worst of green lipsticks video this is a bullet lipstick from the Sephora collection and this is in the shade cash money which is appropriate I do have another shade from the same collection that's like a I don't know a more olive kind of green but this is like a dark green and I really like it I have to say this formula is really comfortable. I don't think the shade lasts too long like through eating and everything. Like I'm filming this at the end of the night. I've already had end of the night and it's still sunny outside. No. End of the afternoon. I just had dinner. So I'm not really going to be doing anything else with my mouth. But uh, if you are like wearing this, you're going to be drinking or eating or doing a whole day of wear. I don't think this is going to last the whole day. But it is very comfy. So a kind of random update, some new products I picked up. I went to my local Sally Beauty. If you missed my entire discussion about uh, the Diva Curl dilemma and why I cut out the last remains of whatever I had Diva Curl in my collection, I'll throw that up in the cards. But I ran to Sally's because they have a really good hair care line. It's called like Zotos, Z-O-T-O-S. And I really wanted to pick up a gel from them. So I got the gel that's over in like my hair care section. And while I was there, I was looking through the collab makeup. So I finally decided to try this collab foundation. This is the Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. I got the shade Porcelain 01, which I'm pretty sure is their lightest shade. And this was actually, everything collab was like marked down a lot. So I don't know if like my Sally's is kind of just trying to get rid of stock. But this is like $11 marked down. And I wore it yesterday, wearing it today. I have to say I'm actually surprised by how much I like it. That being said, I haven't worn it outside to commute for a full day because I did have to work from home today because it's technically a holiday. <laughs> it's President's Day and the trains are running on a Saturday schedule, which I'm not about to, I'm not about to get stuck in Newark Penn Station <laughs> on a holiday schedule. I work from home. Not even gonna deal with it. So I haven't tested this for a full day, but I am going to use this again sometime later this week just to see how it works when I actually have to go to work and then come back but wearing it around the house wearing it on camera seeing it like how I'm seeing it I'm actually pretty impressed because there are some newer foundations that I've been trying that even if like I do the same thing and wear just when I'm at home the foundation doesn't look good which is kind of shocking but so be it so there will be a foundation review video coming up this one just kind of snuck up on me so i think i'm gonna do like a foundation roundup in a couple of weeks speaking of sally beauties and collab while i was there i was looking for the collab eyeshadow palette that i think is supposed to be a dupe for the modern renaissance i know um taylor Wynn talked about it a while ago but i couldn't find it. i don't think they had it but this one they did have and it's really cute it's like a smoky palette it's got some greens in it i really wanted just to try out the brand and i have to say the packaging is like sturdy it's really nice but i haven't actually tried the shadows yet so this is brand new can't wait to test it out and my last makeup update i finally purchased something that i've been really wanting for a long time but from the uh brand's website this is from lunatic cosmetics labs it's like 70 dollars, and i kept waiting for this product to go on sale and blah 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 but even on sale it went down to 50 dollars, and i'm like man i can't spend 50 plus shipping on just one contour palette well uh i saw this big um makeup collection or declutter-ish kind of video from one of my friends here on YouTube and she actually had 
I went to her Poshmark. She linked her Poshmark, not, not Poshmark, Mercari. And she had the palette listed on her Mercari, and it was like $36. And I was like, hell yeah. So I jumped on it, and now I have like a barely used version of the contour palette that I've been dying to have. So I've been trying this out a little bit. I've, I'm wearing the contour today and the bronzer. And actually, I've been using these pinks as blushes. So I'm wearing everything today. I've worn this a couple of times, and I gotta say, so far, pretty excited. And I almost dropped it and I caught it by the skin of my brown door. Don't drop it, please. Can you imagine? Oh, I waited all the time to get it. I finally get it and then I immediately like break it. One other random thing I want to throw in before we get into our makeup, new makeup releases. I don't think I'm gonna make this a usual thing, but I've been reading a lot recently. And I just want to throw out like what books I've been reading and kind of what I think about them real quick just to, I don't know just because I want to and I've got nowhere else to put this. <laughs> so I read, let's start with what I read first. I finally finished this book by Murakami Haruki. This is Killing Commentadore and it came out a while ago, a couple of years, and this was the first English translation. It is huge, but I love Murakami Haruki. I've read like the majority of his books. They're all like, I think over here on my bookshelf. I actually do have a whole bookshelf tour. I might need to do an updated one, but I'll throw that one up in the cards if you're interested. But I really liked this book. It's strange in a way that only Murakami can be. And it really referenced um, the opera Don Giovanni a lot. And so uh, halfway through, I found the entire Don Giovanni opera here on YouTube. So I was just listening to it while I was reading it. I really liked it. I got a lot of enjoyment out of that. And that wasn't the only book I read that like referenced Don Giovanni. I also read Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. And I gave this book to my grandma so that she could read it. Although the cover up over here, it's a fairly iconic cover. But I also had that book for years and finally just read it. It was a decent book. It was like, okay, not a huge fan. I think I did some better thoughts on it on my Instagram. So make sure you check out my Instagram. But that book also referenced Don Giovanni the Opera and that was right I read that right after I read the other book and I was like this the universe just wants me to listen to Don Giovanni like <laughs> I don't know what it was but I thought that was kind of interesting. After those two I read Elizabeth Gilbert's City of Girls. Now I know she's famous for writing Eat Pray Love I've never read that. The one book that she wrote that I did love is called The Signature of All Things. I have that somewhere over here but that book was incredible and so knowing how much I loved that I had to give this book a shot and this book was incredible. It took turns I wasn't really expecting. It's about like a young single girl in New York City in like the 40s right before World War II and it's just I don't want to spoil anything. It's so good. I actually loved this book and it shocked me because I honestly wasn't really expecting a whole lot out of it but very cute. And last but not least, the book that I literally just finished reading the other day, this is called My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfe. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I'm so sorry. Uh, she also wrote Eileen, which is a book from a while ago that I really liked. It was very strange, but I really liked the book. And this book, I loved the way it was written, the prose, just like the way it's presented to you is breathtaking. I hated the main character. And part of me struggled to get through this because I hated her so much. But, like, we have so many great, like, male anti-heroes, right? Where you're not supposed to like them, but you can listen to their stories and really get to know them. And so I think this is such a great female anti-hero. And it was just good. It takes place in New York in 2000. So you, it's kind of a spoiler alert there. But, like, we all know what happened in 2001 in New York, or at least I hope we all do. But uh, it was a really good book. Um, a lot of drugs, a lot of sex, so like read the summary and read the reviews before you jump in if that stuff will kind of bother you, but I actually really liked it. Alright, now that I'm done ranting about random things, <laughs> let's get into the makeup. Alright, so I'm going to skip around because there are a few releases that I really wanted to talk about, like towards the beginning. Uh, first of all, the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette because of course it's a Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I'm gonna save my judgment and everything. This isn't a Potinche chat, but uh, I don't trust Jaclyn Hill as far as I can throw her and I really don't like Morphe either. So that alone isn't making me wanting is oh grammar. <laughs> that alone makes me not really want the palette. I think the color story of like the bottom half is really cute, but I saw someone compared the top half of the original Jaclyn Hill and the top half of this one. They look like the same shades. People also duped out the shades in here with the new big ColourPop palette. So like if you really want it, get the ColourPop palette. 
don't need this. And they're also coming out with a brush set. I did once upon a time pick up the old original Jaclyn Hill Morphe Favorites brush set and like half of them were duds. So take that as you will. Some Morphe brushes are great, but from what I've found, they're way too expensive and they're way too hit or miss for me to ever really recommend them unless I'm looking at the number of the specific brush that I really like. So just err on the side of caution. Don't buy anything from Morphe. Okay, I'm going to jump around next because I've been doing a lot of jumping around, but I want to talk about this, the Bloodlust palette. I gotta move my corgi butt pillow and like sit crisscross applesauce. Give me a second. Here is the corgi butt pillow for those of you curious. My friend got it for me for Christmas and I mainly sit on it. Need that lumbar support. I'm old. So anyway, looking at this. I don't support Jeffree Star. I'm not buying anything. But I have to say, looking at this first packaging picture, I was like, ooh, what is this gonna be? Deep purples. Golds. Ah, like I was actually like, mmm. What is this gonna be? But then we saw the inside. And yikes. Yikes on trikes. Oh my god, I don't even know who like thought this was a good idea. This is some pastel whitewashed shit. What are these shimmers in the middle row? Like, what the hell? I have to say, like taking a, a taking away the packaging, also like the cover is like made of velvet, so like one of the older ABH palettes. So you know how nasty it's gonna look. You know how dusty it's gonna get. The shape, I actually like the shape. But people are dogging on the shape. I actually, I think it's unique. I like it, but it would be a pain in the ass to store. But for someone like me who has enough eyeshadow palettes where like I have a bookshelf for them, it probably wouldn't be a big issue for me. But for the average everyday person, definitely. But like. Honestly, seeing how, like, light these shades are, I really don't think anyone under, like, anyone darker than me probably could use this and get, like, different looks out of it. It would probably just look, like, really chalky on someone of a deeper complexion. But anyway, seeing the inside, I immediately just went, yikes, and I'm like, Gah. like, oh, thank, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> like, even if I was still supporting Jeffree Star, I don't think I, no. He also released a new mini set of like liquid lipsticks and I gotta say like the other mini sets that I've gotten, I've, I love the lipstick formula. It's a shit person but he's got a great lipstick formula. But again like this lipstick mini set really misses the mark. It is strange. Yeah I don't know. This whole collection I think is very odd. Okay, so I I don't like this and I really don't like seeing makeup companies coming out with like this kind of skincare. Milk Makeup is coming out with this vegan milk cleanser. It's not, it's only, I mean only, not only is it $30, like, I don't know. Like I would, I don't think I would A, per, pay that much for a cleanser and that I've found a really good drugstore cleanser that works for me or B, trust to buy it from like a makeup company. I'll save my, I guess, full judgment until I see one of the skincare channels that I follow review it, but personally, no. So, Tatcha is coming out with a liquid version of the Silk Canvas Primer. A, it, it's going to be way too expensive, honestly. I, I would definitely pick up a sample. Like, I want a sample of this to see how it's going to be any different from the original Silk Canvas but it's so expensive. Like it's gonna be $52, which actually same price as this little canvas, huh? But yeah, the... what do you guys think? Would, would it make a difference for you to have um, the primer as like an actual liquid as opposed to just the putty? I kind of really, I think the part of the, the reason I liked the putty primer so much is because it was, a, the texture was nice and it really smoothed. It really helped minimize pores, but also, Elf perfectly duped it, so maybe they gotta come out with something else to kind of, like, get people coming back to them. Who knows? I don't know, but I, I'm not gonna. Definitely would get a sample. Not gonna buy. Wet n Wild is collabing with Bretman Rock for this palette and collection called Jungle Rock, which it couldn't have thought of anything better. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know. I think the shades are they could have been going in a good direction, but I hate what they picked to be shimmers versus mattes. I don't like those decisions. There's also a brush set, a loose highlighter, a mascara, and a setting spray. 
I mean, I don't watch Bretman Rock. I'm not a fan. I try to avoid all of those like bigger kind of influencers. So I really don't know them. Don't consider myself a fan, but the palette is kind of a, uh, a yikes. Oh my God, my foot fell asleep. So Too Faced is out here coming out with a product that looks adorable, but I know wouldn't be useful at all. And I'm not gonna buy because Too Faced is being Too Faced. <laughs> Yep, first person to ever say that, Monica. This is from, I guess, their new Clover collection that they're coming out with, or they've they're slowly been adding things to. And this is the Sun Puppy Bronze. $32 for a bronzer. I like I said, I love the packaging, I love how the product looks, but I know trying to swirl it and get an even application every time would be next to impossible unless you kill the puppy. I don't want to kill the puppy and I don't want to support Too Faced, so I'm just gonna No. Please don't kill the puppies. Colourpop is coming out with a new luxe gloss, which they came out with this line of luxe lipsticks, which are different from the bullet lipsticks. They're actually liquid lipsticks. I've heard a lot of people actually say a lot of really good things about those, so I'm kind of interested in those. But the glosses, not really that interested in. I think I might place a Colourpop order in the next few weeks. I'm debating on it. Like, I don't even know like what's still going to be available, so I've been definitely taking my time on anything Colourpop related, but... I don't know, I'm kind of interested in those new Liquid Lux lipsticks and maybe that Smoke Show palette if it's still available. Well, that is gigantic. I think I mentioned this maybe previously, partially a little. P. Louise is coming out with a huge palette. So it's a face palette. No, no, no. Yeah, it's a face palette. So it's the 18 eyeshadows that you see here, two highlighters, a big ass mirror, and I think it's like a huge box. It looks like there's a lot of wasted space in here. Uh, can you take the palette out? I hope you can take the palette out, but it looks like like seeing what I see with the highlighters so Those look like they're built in. I think they're built in. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that um, Reminds me a lot of Physicians Formula and as much as I like those products I know what the packaging is bulky and it's kind of annoying So anything that wasn't in that big Physicians Formula butter box that I got a while ago I've like basically depotted or tried to depot so this thing is huge yeah not interested just because of how big it is because of the awkwardness with like the highlighters and i've got these shades i've i've got these shades how is milani choosing what and who to collab with <laughs> milani is coming out with a collab with salt and peppa it, it's called uh, i don't know what it's called i don't know it's just i guess they're called the collab so there is um the hot cool and vicious eyeshadow and highlighter palette there's the very necessary eyeshadow and highlighter palette, so two different palettes and they're like round, which is I think is kind of cool, but I don't need those shades at all. Um, and then there are some lip kits. The, the, the collab and the theme just seems so out of like left field. It's just an important like anniversary year for Salt and Pepper. I mean, I only know one song by Salt and Pepper, <laughs> and uh. Yeah, I don't know. Like, just it's just kind of strange. But I like that they did everything like kind of circle. It looks like a CD, right? It's kind of cute, but I know I don't need it. Uh, Morphe came out with another setting mist this time. This is a matte one. I think I did try their continuous setting mist a long time ago, back when it first came out a couple years ago, and it ruined my face. It definitely makes mascara run. It definitely makes your eyeshadow fuck up. It definitely didn't make my makeup last all day. It was a hot mess it was a hot mess so i never bought it again i wouldn't recommend again just stay away from morphe because there's so many other good affordable products you don't have to go to morphe go to shop miss a i've been trying a setting spray from shop miss a and it actually has been working really well unlike the morphe one another release from milani this i'm actually kind of curious about this is the ludicrous lights collection so there's three colors there is like a blue a pink and i want to say a peach and each color story comes with a duochrome highlighter, an eye topper, and a lip gloss. I still haven't tried any eye toppers from Milani yet. I've been trying out some Milani, not Milani, from uh, CoverGirl and e.l.f., some liquid shadows. And I haven't tried anything from Milani yet, so I kind of want to try these. I'm also really interested in like that peach duochrome highlighter. I'm sure that would be gorgeous. So I'm going to see if maybe I can get lucky and see it in like a Walgreens or a CVS near me. But that's probably not going to happen. The drugstores around me suck at putting out new releases. They're always like months and months behind. So we'll see. If I see it, I see it. But it is like interesting. And I'm kind of curious. 
I honestly can't remember if I already talked about this. I think I have, but this new Sugar Pill palette, I actually really want. I love the, the whole aesthetic of the packaging. I love the way the shadows are like lined out. I love the colors. It's so cute and it's called the Pink Edition. So maybe they'll come out with some other editions, some other colors. So part of me wants to get this one. Part of me wants to wait and see what other shades they come out with for this. I should wait. I should wait and see what other editions they come out with. Because if they do like a green one or something, that'd be so cool. That'd be adorable. I'm like scrolling through everything to see if there's anything else new that catches my eye. And I think that actually might be it. Oh, but wait past Monica. You didn't know that they are finally going to release the ColourPop collection that you want. And that you're gonna like get the day it releases. Colourpop is collabing with Sailor Moon and they're having an entire Sailor Moon collection and my 90s weeb heart is just like yes I want all of it. They've got a palette which is cute kind of basic I have it but I want it. They got blushes I want the blushes. They've got I think um two lipsticks or it's one lipstick and one lip gloss I want them both and then there's like some gl glitter I don't I don't care I want it hi oh my god this is the collection this is it this is gonna be buy from Colourpop for the first time in who knows how long <sighs> damn it this collection got me hook line and sinker I love the packaging I love how the products look I want them all I just I'm literally gonna buy the whole collection the day it comes out <sighs> I've been had yeah, so let's go ahead and end it there. That is this edition of the Be Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, let me know down below what you're most excited for, if you want any of these products, if you're looking out for anything. And if I missed anything, I am filming this on Monday, so a couple of days ahead. So if there's anything I missed you want me to include in the next video, or if you want my comments in the below, let me know in the below. Jesus. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.